birds. They do things. Like, whatever this is. Hmm, look at all that wiggling. They also like to steal small children? I'm sure this is a very common problem. You know, you're having a picnic when suddenly an eagle comes and steals your toddler. Guess you just gotta eagle-proof your toddlers more. Regardless, I am not here to talk about those kinds of birds. I am here to talk about this. The Lammergeier, which translates to lamb vulture in German. Now this is an interesting decision for a common name. As you can see here in this map, there are none in Germany. Makes sense. Now for the all-important question, why did I choose this animal? The answer is, I am bad at biology, and I texted my friend who isn't, and he said this was cool. Now, on to its reproductive cycle. This is a Lammergeier chick. And I will say this, in the most monotone voice possible, that this is the cutest thing I have ever seen. No emotion, just cute. Female Lammergeiers lay one to three eggs every season. They take about 60 days or so to hatch, and the egg that hatches first is usually the strongest and biggest chick. So the parents will only feed that one, completely neglecting the one to two other chicks that are left. Those are unfortunately left to fend for themselves, and as you can imagine, it doesn't end well. Dead chicks, that's what I'm talking about. But wait, it gets worse. Now, I'll give you five seconds to guess what happens to the dead chicks. Do they A, get left for other animals, B, just get tossed out of the nest, C, cannibalism, or D, play soldier. If you guess cannibalism, you'd be right. The dead chicks are fed to the remaining chick. Hey, they're scavengers. If they see food, that's all it is. Speaking of food, Lammergeiers have a remarkably interesting diet. Their stomach acids are so powerful they can actually melt bone. So 85% of their diet is bone marrow. Really going for the scraps with that evolved trait. They have also evolved some remarkably good eyesight that allows them to see possibly dead animals from very far away. Unlike me, who needs half-inch thick glasses to see the whiteboard from the front of the room. Birds and their good vision. What do we get? A brain? I don't even use mine half the time. I'd rather have good eyes. Lammergeiers also have some, we'll say, interesting mating habits. While they are mostly monogamous, some Lammergeiers will form trios with two males and one female, and this is where any semblance of normalcy leaves the conversation. Sometimes, the alpha will drive off the beta from mating with the female. This will sometimes result in what's called reverse mounting. This is where the female will then mount the beta, and I can only imagine that this happens as a pure display of dominance. Furthermore, sometimes the alpha will mount the beta. Why? Beats me. There is evidence to suggest that it is a way to control aggressiveness in the males, but I'm gonna stick with my dominance argument because I like it more. Last but not least, Lammergeiers will bathe in iron-rich water fairly often, and we have literally no clue as to why they do this. You, you see that coloration on their neck? Yeah, that's not natural. That's the iron from the water. And it has no purpose. Not even a mating-related one. They just do it for fun. Thank you for watching, I'd say as if you had a choice. I really hope you enjoyed this presentation though, that I put far, far too much time in as I usually do.